Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel where we educate people on how to trade the forest market, share ideas and information on how to become a consistent profitable trader. I am Abdel and uh, in today's video I'll be talking about risk management, how to manage our risk while trading the forest market and of course topic is very crucial because uh, we have seen a lot of traders who have uh, funded uh, up to about 10 accounts and still they have not found consistency. So to such persons, this video is actually meant for you. May I remind you that uh, forest trading is a very risky business which carries a high level of risk and they might not be suitable for everyone. Hence, broker always include this in their disclaimer to alert you of the potential risk that is involved while trading in the forest market and uh, that you only trade with money that you can afford to lose. Sadly, these days, my friends, we see many persons who jump into the forest market with the wrong mindset and limited knowledge, are very anxious to get into trading and make huge amount of money with no regard to their account size. Uh, probably they have watched videos of how traders stack trades and they flip accounts uh, from $50 to $1,000 overnight. Others who flip accounts from uh, $5,000 to $500,000 probably within a month and uh, they want the same for themselves. They have equally seen traders who uh, show off their luxurious lifestyle, their exotic cars, mansion, expensive uh, uh, trips that they have been backed on and these traders who want the same for themselves. Hence, they come into the market with that wrong mindset, uh, fund accounts and they are excited wanting to achieve similar results. But sadly, they end up giving all their money back to the forest market. They have blown multiple accounts, many have equally bought funded accounts, uh, past phase one, but they end up uh, are blowing up those accounts, either if it's to a live account, and all this as a result of them having limited knowledge of what risk management all entails. So now let's look at the major factors to consider when choosing your lot size. First on the list, as you can see here, is your risk capital. What is your account size? How much do you intend to invest in your forest account? Are you going to be having an account of five thousand, two thousand, or three hundred dollars? As the case may be, but in this case, let's assume you have an account of $2,000. Now, having established that, the next thing you want to talk about is your level of risk. What level of risk you want to be accommodating per trade? Now, it professionally advise that uh, you risk not more than 1% to 5% of your account per initial trade position. In the advent that uh, that trade go against you, you call it, you probably be having a good account to be able to trade, uh, to be able to pick for that trade. Now, we're going to be looking at your stop loss. What is the maximum loss you wish to accommodate per inch position you enter? Is it 10 pips or 15 pips or 20 pips as the case may be? So your stop loss is in pips, so bear that in back of your mind. So you want to clearly establish that at then the last thing to talk about is your currency pair. As we all know, all currency pairs are not the same. Some are more volatile than others. So if you are trading uh, Euro USD, for example, Euro USD is not as volatile as the Great Britain pounds pair. We talk about uh, GBP USD, and also too the GBP pound pairs are not as volatile as metals such as gold, and uh, also too we call it have indices your US start uh, currency pairs that you have. So. We first want to clearly establish this. These are the four major areas that we must look into carefully. So if you have been able to give serious thought to this, you have been able to define your risk capital, the account you are funding. Now you're able to define the level of risk you're going to be accommodating per trade, the level of stop loss you're going to be having, the maximum loss you can accommodate per inch rate position, which is measured in pips, and you can you have equally defined the risk pair. The next thing to do is to head over to this browser, which you head over to your browser. On my own case, I'm going to uh, Google Chrome. Head over to your browser, Google Chrome. Now, when we get in here, the first thing to do is come to my FS book, uh, Forest Calculator Position Size. Or the best thing to do, you can come in here and say Position Size Calculator. When you get in here, scroll down, you see my Forest book. Click on this. So when you have done that, now continue to my Facebook. Now you can see that all we have clearly defined before now, 
they are all what is being listed here as you can see so now the currency pair you want to be using is this now your account you'll be trading is it in dollars or in pounds they are going to specify that here now the account size that you you are having currently now what's the worth of your account size that is what you're going to put in here what's your level of risk like we mentioned we said no more than one to three percent now that is what you're going to put here then, the, then you clearly have here now the last thing to put in is your stop loss your stop loss is in pips so we may mention of 20 pips is what we are going to accommodate so we are going to have that there once you have done that you are going to click on this calculate and i'm going to be having some figures that are going to be shown at here so let me quickly do that now so that you can see that for yourself so as you are going to be trading the euro usd let's leave it at that now the account size you're having is a thousand dollars now the risk ratio i'll be i'm comfortable in risking uh 2.5 percent per inch street position now my stop loss i want to be stopped out when it get to 20 pips and they click on calculate now when you click on calculate what you are seeing here now is that the maximum loss size you can use per inch position is what 0 0.13 and now if i should have a loss on a position i'm going to be having a loss of 25 dollars now if i'm having it if, if i'm having a shortfall of 25 dollars from a thousand dollars therefore means i'm still having 975 dollars left on my next trade now if i should make another loss of 25 dollars from this on my next trade i'll be having 900 and what 950 dollars so my friends this is how you trade using proper risk management you don't just randomly pick any loss size and, and start to trade the forest market if you do that you're a gambler and you end up giving everything you have made back to the forest market so the right approach to forest trading is trading your account conservatively you grow your account each day deal little by little little by little and you compound your earning when you when you keep up compounding your earning then your account will definitely grow maybe from a thousand dollars to a thousand five hundred or 1500 to 1750 not wanting to grow your account overnight from a thousand dollars to five thousand dollars my friends that is unrealistic you don't know to many persons now who are gamblers they will end up having a thousand dollars account just as you have seen now they have a thousand dollars account and they wanting to be trading with 1.5 lot size my friend look at it you can see now that it's unrealistic using a lot size of 1.5 on a thousand dollars account those who are trading this way they are gamblers they are aggressive traders and those who do such don't last in the forest market so for every account size that you have my friends is vital that you sit yourself down and calculate your risk per inch trade position that you enter each trade you enter is an investment so bear that in mind so to be leaving the link uh, this is position size calculator below so that uh, you can equally implement such in your account so if you're having difficulty in picking the best loss size all you need to do is to head over to this my forest book and uh, do same choose your currency pair choose your account size choose the level of risk you want to be accommodating your stop loss and you can hit the calculate and uh, you will see the loss size that you can uh, use now lastly what i'm going to talk about what I'm going to be talking about here is now we have already seen here now that uh, the maximum loss size the maximum loss size you can use is 0 0.13 now 0 0.13 what I usually like doing on my own end is to split my lot size that is how I manage my lot I'm having a loss of 0 0.13 I may come here and use in the first position I will enter with 0 0.4 sorry 0 0.04 and the next one I'll come with 0 0.04 that i've that uh, you can see that i've used what now 0 0.08 now on the next one i can come in here and use 0. Point, uh, i'm having 0. Point under 0. 0.4 what i've done i've conveniently used 0. 0.12 or i can come in here and use 0. 0.5 now what you have done you have using you have used what now 0. 0.13 now let's head over to your mt4 platform let me wipe this now so using 0 0.13 all i need to do here now assuming i'm to look for a buy assuming i'm to look for a buy position on this zone here now as you can see now what i will clearly do what i will not do 
I may come in here I key in my first position here my first position will be here now when the market keep going against me I may come in here and key in my second position and uh, lastly my third position will be here such that if here should be my if here should be my target which is my take profit then this one will run to my take profit this one may run halfway here I'll close this one on profit I'll allow this one to run halfway here too I'll close on profit I'll be really having this trade that will be running from here down to my take profit why because the trade that run below here this trade that I found below here running from here to here we call it give me the number of pips I need from here to here so that's how I manage my risk guys so I, I'm just showing this so that you can equally implement that on your trading so that uh, you all can end up making good profits and trading your account conservatively not flipping your account or stacking more trade in order to end big you grow your account conservatively with the experience i've gotten from multiple accounts blown in years back i've come to realize that in this lucrative business called forest even if you have the best trading strategy mentored by the best forest trader you take trade from the best signal provider you will never find consistency in trading if you don't know how to manage your risk effectively you won't be around for long you keep funding and blowing accounts until you eventually give up in forest. The truth is, everybody wants to make money from the market, but only if you are concerned about the risk involved if it goes south. Forgetting that the forest market can either give you financial freedom if you follow the rules or make you broke financially if you ignore the rules. So here's the secret that will keep you in the business for a long time. To me, it was a missing piece I was looking for when I earlier started. Forest is not all about strategy. So avoid spending all your time looking for a holy grail. There's no holy grail in forest trading. And no strategy always works 100%. Money management alongside psychology are the hallmark of being a successful trader. If you're just starting out and you're serious about making forest a trading, always avoid gambling with oversized position for big profits. This is a major problem why 95% of forest traders fail to achieve consistency in the game. They're always looking for quick profits. They are quick to forget that the forest market never runs out of money. It's only your greed that will make you give all your money back to the market on one, two, or three feet trade setup. So before you place any trade, define your risk first because there's no profit without loss and loss is inevitable in this business called forest. There are no shortcuts. Follow the rules. Manage your psychology accordingly. With passing of time, I can assure you, you'll be proud of the kind of trader you'll become. I sincerely hope this video was informative to you and I want to thank you for watching. If you find value from this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Bye.